So now we will sew our sleeve onto our bodice here. We're going to be doing a set in sleeve. So here's our sleeve with the hem finished. And here are the important notches once again. You have one for the front, two for the back, and then one for the top of your sleeve, which you will match with the shoulder seam of your bodice. So the first thing that we will do is match the bodice side seam with the seam of your sleeve. And I have the camera super close, so um, in this video tutorial, I will be readjusting quite a bit. I apologize, just bear with me. I wanted you guys to see every detail. Okay, so once you have those two seams matched, like so, pin them together. Okay, so, so far it will look like this. So the next thing you're gonna do is turn your bodice inside out over the sleeve. So reach your hand into the bodice. Hold on to your sleeve and turn the bodice inside out over the sleeve. This will cause you to have right sides together. Okay, so the sleeve is now inside. So now we will match our notches. So you have two notches on the back of your sleeve. You'll match it with the two notches on your back bodice and you will pin those two in place now for the front you have one notch on your sleeve and one notch on your bodice and you will pin this into place as well So when you're done, it'll look like this. Next, you're gonna take your single notch at the top of your sleeve and match it with the shoulder seam of the bodice. Push the seam allowance to one side and pin it in place. So now we will begin to work on the ease. The ease is very important because it allows for the comfortable movement of your arms when wearing a garment with sleeves. So every set of sleeve has ease. So first, just make sure that the armhole of your bodice is completely flat. The ease should only be in the sleeve itself. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to form the ease with your fingers. And the ease, it looks like waves. So just pin in between those little waves there to hold it in place. So now we will do this side. Make sure the bodice is flat and you have ease in your sleeve. Okay, so when you're done pinning, it'll look something like this. Okay. So no ease from here to here, and no ease from here to here, just flat. 
but from the front notch to the back notch all along the top you'll have ease so the ease will be in your sleeve cap only okay so now you are ready to sew in your sleeve here we are on the sewing machine I have the sleeve on top and the bodice armhole underneath on the bottom I'm starting at the side seam where we first pin the sleeve on of course when you start sewing back stitch I'm using a half inch seam allowance here something I like to do is always check the bottom layer and make sure that it's flat so frequently I just kind of lift it up like so and check and make sure that that bottom layer is flat another thing I like to do when I get to the part with the ease I like to slip my hand through the sleeve and kind of just use my fingers to control that ease on that top layer that ease on that sleeve um, I have found that this is the best way to prevent accidental pleats but just be careful that when you sew you move your fingers back and out of the way as you can see when you sew a set in sleeve it takes quite a bit of readjusting what I like to do is stop check the bottom control the ease with my fingers and then continue to sew so if you repeat this process when you sew in a set in sleeve um, you'll sew in a perfect one every time so we are getting to the shoulder seam and we're passing it up so what you're going to do is pull out that second half and lay it flat. Sometimes the second half is easier to sew than that first half. So now you're almost finished here. So just sew straight and end where you began from and back stitch and you will have this first set in sleeve sewn in. Once you're finished sewing from the inside it will look like this. From the outside it will look like this. And be sure that your sleeve seam and your side seam are matching. Okay, so here we have our set in sleeve sewn in. This is what it will look like on the front. It looks nice and smooth. And then also on the back, nice and smooth, no accidental pleats. Then for the seams at the underarm, they match perfectly. Okay, so now we'll go ahead on and look at the other sleeve that we're going to be working on here. Again, very important, just make sure that that front notch is corresponding with the front notch of your bodice. That's how you know you have the right sleeve. Okay. So now we will do what we did the last time. We will match the side seam of the bodice with the sleeve seam there, just like so. So just match those two, line them up perfectly, and pin them into place, like so. So, so far it will look like this. 
and then you're going to do the same thing that you did the last time you'll turn the bodice inside out over the sleeve match the notches pin into place and then sew it 